You're back with your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso here on SABC3. We are cooking up a storm. We're outside. It is a beautiful day. The sun, it's just, it's baking us. But this is where we love to be. Because as we prepare for Valentine's Day next week, today especially, we are showing you some great ideas for meals, or rather ideas for meals for two. And what's nice is it gets to be home-cooked meals. So we've invited our, one of our favorite chefs, Chef Jono, and he's going to be showing us how to make a really good brine meal for two. Chef Jono, how yes. are you today? Oh, spectacular, how are you? I love that you're spectacular, <laughs> the two of us. Hey, we are just having a fun time outside yeah. here. So now listen, I, I do know that you uh, are still also thinking of what you can do for Valentine's yeah. Day, but this is a great idea, meals for two, right? Yeah, absolutely, and uh, my girlfriend's a chef, so I'm trying to try like keep it simple. Okay. Uh, I might get judged, so I've just chosen a little salad uh, with some king clip, okay. keep it nice and healthy, so we're gonna do some sugar snap peas yes. uh, with chorizo and red onion and mint, okay. uh, in a lovely salad with a little orange dressing. Uh, with some grilled king clip on top. Very, okay. very nice and simple. Okay, wonderful. Okay, can I take it away? Okay, so the first thing you do, because it's very quick, you're gonna start cooking your king clip, and then we're gonna prepare the um, prepare the salad while we're doing that. So just put some nice molten salt on there. And when you're brying, yeah. you always gotta oil the meat um, so that it doesn't stick to the brie. So you just okay. give it a nice coating of oil, uh, give it a little flip over. How does one make sure that your, that your meat doesn't fall apart? Because you were saying before uh, we, we started that, that fish, when it's raw, stick, it's, it's like it's quite firm. Yeah. But when you start cooking it, it tends to, it tends to dismantle apart. itself. Exactly. So there are a few ways you can do that. The one is to cook, to actually put foil on the bra yeah. and then cook the fish on the foil. Okay. And the other is just to be very gentle yeah. and make sure it cooks properly underneath. Because yeah. if it hasn't cooked enough and you try and lift it, it's going to stick to the bra and it's okay. going to be very average. All right, so the fish is on the bry. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna crisp up some chorizo. This is brilliant. Uh, this is Spanish chorizo. You get right. Spanish and Portuguese. Okay, it's now let's just talk about the chorizo because I've heard people pronounce it chorizo, chorizo, yeah. chorizo. What is the proper okay. pronunciation so, for it? So uh, in, Port in Portugal, it's chorizo. Chorizo. And yeah. in, in Spain, it's chorizo. Uh, chorizo. Yeah, but, but the K is never an option. You can't ever call it chorizo. That's, okay. That's poor, <laughs> very poor. Hey? Okay, so in South Africa, what yeah. would be uh, acceptable? I would say chorizo. Chorizo. Yeah. Wonderful. We'll stick to that one. Right, okay, so we've got the chorizo like sauteing in the pan. We're just going to wait for it to get nice and crispy okay. and the fish is gr frying away. Nice. Okay, so you add your... Uh, sugar snap peas, mm -hmm. some red onions to a bowl, um, and then you take your conveniently crisped up uh, chorizo that we made a little bit earlier, Okay. and you add that. Lovely. Okay, and then the secret ingredient, you see the chorizo is very strong, the red onion is quite a powerful yes. flavour as well. So I've got some brilliant some uh, mozzarella buffalo there. mozzarella Ooh, here, nice. and you just break it open, and then oh, you can wow. see how beautiful and creamy it is in here. It's so nice. So it's and actually going to soften like the whole salad. Yes. I like big chunks. I'm just going to break off some big chunks and oh, this drop is it getting in there. exciting. I can't wait for all of this to come together. Yeah, that's going to be delicious. Okay, so, so that's broken up and okay. popped in. Just wipe my hands quickly. Can I just say for any of the guys that are paying attention right now, this is one phenomenal recipe. I would make this if I were you. Okay, all you have to do is SMS the word FISH to 33728 and we will send you your pick and pay ingredients list plus the link to the recipe and you could be making this recipe serious brownie points. Serious brownie points, I would think. The real deal. Okay, now I'm, the gonna, real deal. now I'm gonna make the dressing on the side. So we've got like the juice of one orange. Okay. Uh, it's a very like, basic, simple recipe. Okay. Lots of mint. So a good handful of uh, chopped mint. Okay. Maybe even more. Uh, a little bit of lemon juice just mm -hmm. to add that little acidity also to go nicely with the fish. Yeah. And then a good plug of extra virgin olive oil. Oh, wow. I can imagine this is going to have so many bursts of flavor yeah. coming from everywhere. The king club, the chorizo, all of those things. Yes, okay, so just going to give that a little bit of a stir. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit on now so yeah. I can toss it around. Okay. Um, is this a personal favorite of yours, this recipe? Yeah, anything with chorizo is a personal <laughs> favorite of mine. Okay, cool. Okay. So give it a good mix. All right. And then lift it onto the plate to make sure you get a, a nice helping of everything in there. Nice. It's also very nice and high in protein. You've got your cheese mm. and, your, and your fish, so it's very good. All right, and then if the fish on the TV isn't finished cooking yet, <laughs> you've got a handy piece over here. We do have one there. We just put on top. Oh, look at that. She's a beauty. Alrighty. And then just There's to add some, some colour, let's put some mint and dressing over the fish. A little bit around on the plate. Oh, wow. 
delicious. Well, for anyone who's missed any of the crucial and essential steps to making this um, pink lip and chorizo and mozzarella and pea salad, all you have to do is watch this next little tip because we're going to take you through it one more time. Season the fish, then drizzle with olive oil. Saute or grill for four to five minutes on each side. Saute the chorizo and drain on paper. Whisk together the orange zest and juice, lemon zest and juice, mint and olive oil, then season. Pour dressing over snow peas and onion and toss. Okay, Chef Jono and I have decided that this is a winner. But in case it doesn't work, what did you say? So, yeah, if it doesn't work, just buy her a ring. <laughs> there we go, just buy her a ring. Wow, thank you so much. I think we need to get the boys in here. They need to have a special taster. Ewan, uh, what do you think, dude? Jonathan, this looks hey? awesome, dude. Frolico loves it. Get stuck in and give One it. of my favorite things. You've got two of my favorite things in here. Fish and chorizo. There we go. That's it, that's yum, it. Thanks so much. Yum, yum. Get stuck in there. I think you've outdone yourself here. Oh. And he's going in for the kill. I have to. Go Fish for it, go for it. Interesting combination right there. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> it's like a paella flavor, actually. Mm, wow. Really good, yeah? That's tasty. Wow. Really tasty. Wonderful Thanks a lot, man. Stuff. Mm. Well, I hope that we've given you guys some really good ideas. We made some paella earlier on, and now we made our king clip and chorizo. I think they're mm. both excellent. So, hey, who knows? You could have two main meals. One could be a starter, one could be a main. But for any of these recipes, all you have to do for this one, you have to just go and SMS the word FISH to 33728 and we will gladly pass that along to your pick and pay ingredients list and the recipe link as awesome. well. Awesome. Cheers, yeah. guys. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much for joining us. Pleasure. Come down to Camps Bay tomorrow. Come support the Espresso Rebels. Rebels. We want to win this volleyball challenge. I think we are right in the, you know, right, we're right up there. I can Definitely. say we are the favourites. Definitely. Can I say well, that? I'm holding Champs. thumbs for them. <laughs> as soon as I'm done with my shoot, I will be there. I will be supporting you. Pom-poms and everything. Cape Town. You need to come and support your boys. You That's need to support your boys. And we've got to have loads of Valentine's Day tips for um, you preparing for next week. And guess who's in the house? Guess who's in the guess house? Guess who's in the house? DJ Fresh is in the house come That's Monday. It. This is something not to be missed. Hey? No, this is something you oh, do not wow. want to miss Monday show. Tune in bright and early. It's going to be a crack of a week. You do not want to miss a second of it. But of course, go out, enjoy your weekend. This has been a great Friday, Definitely. guys. Thank Definitely. you very much. And also, it's Chinese New Year as well. So, guys, yeah. we're going to have such a jam-packed show for you next week. You don't want to miss it. And for those of you who are celebrating, enjoy it. Have a smashing time. Exactly. And on that note, we will say goodbye till next week. But come down tomorrow. I want to see you <laughs> there. Come say hi. Cheers, guys. We have love a nice you, day. guys. Bye-bye.